improving the social and emotional well-being of vulnerable children under five years of age who are at risk of or who are already experiencing problems can reduce the negative impact of their family circumstances. In this chapter, we'll look at how to ensure that all children have the best start in life. One of the best ways to improve development in the early years is through preschool education and interventions. These can be delivered either in daycare facilities or in other settings. Sure Start is an example of the kind of programme that can be delivered in preschool settings. Such interventions have been proven to result in sustained improvements in the social, emotional and cognitive development of disadvantaged children. Full day programmes have been shown to be effective for improving the cognitive development of children who are particularly disadvantaged. These children gain more from intensive preschool interventions and do not show negative behavioural consequences associated with the additional hours spent in early education. However, half day programmes may be sufficient for children of middle or higher socioeconomic status or income. The quality of the preschool is important. Characteristics that lead to positive child outcomes include staff who have warm relationships with children, fostering trust, openness and inspiration, a trained teacher as a manager, a good proportion of graduate teachers in the preschool, with staff being qualified and well-trained, staff who regard educational and social development as complementary and equally important. Services should focus on social, emotional and educational development and be conducted in environments that are pleasant and well-maintained. Local authorities need to ensure that all vulnerable children can benefit from high-quality part-time or full-time childcare outside the home and can take up their entitlement to early childhood education. In addition to preschool education, the child's social and cognitive development is influenced by the learning environment at home. Home visits targeted at high-risk families can improve the home learning environment. Some young children with behavioural problems may benefit from enhanced specialist parenting programmes, where parents participate in a group or use targeted educational media-based parenting materials. For example, the Incredible Years programme has been shown to improve emotional and behavioural problems in children aged three years and under, while both Incredible Years and another parenting programme, Triple P, have similar effects in children over the age of three. Early childhood interventions including home visiting and early education, are proven to have positive long-term effects, including improved cognitive development, educational success during adolescence, increased social participation. This describes the extent to which we get involved in social or community activities around us. And lastly, reduced social deviance, or to put it another way, less antisocial behaviour. In short, Improving social and emotional well-being results in lasting improvements in the outcomes of at-risk or disadvantaged children under five years of age.